Hello again, I'm Trisha from Real Fluency Now. And if you've watched any of my videos, you may have noticed that at the end of all of them, I always say, remember, with hope, anything is possible. Being a scientist, I know that not everything is possible, but many things are possible if you work really hard at them. Definitely learning English is possible. I started saying that because my dog's name is Hope. I named her that for a couple of reasons. One is when I first got her, Barack Obama had just been elected president of the United States. And he used the word hope as part of his presidential campaign. And he also had a book called The Audacity of Hope, which is sitting back over there. Also, I really like the movie Shawshank Redemption. And I have a poster from the movie that says, fear can hold you prisoner, hope can set you free. When I first started teaching English online, I needed a picture of myself to put on my website. But I'm really shy, and I don't even like having my picture taken. So it was hard for me to get a good one. But then I realized that if I took a picture when I had hope with me, I would be more relaxed and feel happier and take a better picture. And it worked. So with hope, it was possible for me to take a better picture. And then when I found out that I would need to make videos, I was really freaked out. I was really nervous about it. I didn't feel comfortable with it at all. I didn't really want to make videos, but I realized it was really the best way to help English learners online. So I started learning how to make videos. And again, I thought if I had hope in my videos with me, I would feel more relaxed. So I sat on the floor in all of my earlier videos so that Hope could sit next to me and be in them too. And that helped a lot. So once again, with Hope, it was possible for me to make videos for YouTube to help English learners. So I started saying that at the end of all my videos, with Hope, anything is possible because with her, a lot of things did become possible for me. If I didn't have her, I may not be making these English lessons for you. Of course, you can also think of it with the usual meaning of hope, wanting something to happen and thinking it could happen. Eventually, I started standing when I recorded, so then she couldn't be in my videos. But then more recently, I reorganized this room where I record so that I had a place for her to sit so she could be in some of my videos again. And my plan from now on is to try to have her in as many videos as possible. Now, I could capitalize the word hope in the sentence with hope anything is possible if I'm using it hope as my dog's name. But since it can be just a regular word and many people watching don't know it's my dog's name, I usually don't capitalize it. But I might start now since I've made this video explaining it. You may also be interested to know that she is a very good Frisbee dog. I'm a terrible frisbee thrower but she's pretty good at catching them so if you'd like i will show you a short little video of her catching a frisbee okay ready good job yay we're good yay and that's my story about hope so if you have time to stay on YouTube for a while, you can watch more videos from me in this playlist or learn maybe how to learn English or jump right into the English lessons. Goodbye. And remember, with hope, anything is possible.